YouTube, it's Brother Dennis. Today I give God all the glory, YouTube family. And um, first training toss for the A team. And uh, <clears throat> B1, it's not easy catching 27 birds, putting them in a cage, transferring them into another cage. This cage is heavy. And uh, it's a training cage. It's kind of going to be using on the truck, so I'm going to be using these. I got two of these cages right now. I'm going to be using these cages to train my birds. <sighs> this is their very first time being released outside the loft. Um, I wish my birds were more tame because it was a fiasco catching a couple of them. They're definitely, like, got spunk and charisma. You see how they're all, like, towards the back of the cage, away from me, like they're scared of me, which I don't, I don't like that. I really don't. So, um, I did have one escapee from my B team when I was going out the door with the cage in my hand. It did, the bird shot out. So he's flying around. So he'll be trapping in with the A team, I guess, when, whenever we get back. I don't know. So let me show you what we're up against. Um, so this is where I, I don't know if you can see it, but those school buses is the end of my street. <laughs> And I literally live across this football field, then two houses, and then my house. So technically, they can't see the law from here, but when they get up in the air, they should be able to see it. So we have a couple dogs barking at us over there. I'm not going to film anybody's other, anybody else's stuff, but I'm going to let them sit here for about two or three minutes, and then um, maybe not even that long. Well, they've been sitting for like two or three minutes already. I've been recording this video for two minutes, so that's five minutes. So um, I don't want to stress them out too much. They should be nice and hungry. So uh, I'm just going to release them. And and I'm going to be honest with you, man. This is really my first really episode, man. Uh, you know, last year, the most I've ever caught and released, the most birds I ever tried to train at one time was 16. And this year, my very first training toss is 27. I got like 40 something birds, six birds, I think. Cause I actually said on my last video, I had 17, but I actually had 19 and then 27. So that's 46. Plus I have a couple more that are growing up, but I, I think I'm gonna send two or three of them to the Florida Derby. And then I'm gonna send the rest to Gabe. So I'm not gonna um, uh, settle any more birds. So, yeah, I think I'm going to send a couple to the Florida Derby just to say I'm in it. Um, I, I trust uh, where I got the breeders from. I got the breeder. Like, I got to see one of my white birds back there got blood on its wing. But there's no way I'm going to be able to catch that bird out of there. I don't know. So I just hope it makes it home. It shouldn't have to fly far. Um... <clears throat> I want them to get used to these cages. I think they're hurting us up in the cage. But yeah, I'm gonna send a couple birds to the Florida Derby. Uh, the, the, um, the, 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 the birds that I'm gonna send are off diploma winners. So I feel good about that. Joe gave me a pair of diploma winners to breed and so did Tommy. So I'm probably gonna send two, two birds off of Joe's birds and then one of Tommy's birds if I send three. I might just send the two nest mates off of Tommy's, off of Joe's birds. Joe from Lily Loft. When I say Joe, I mean Joe Schaefer from Lily Loft, the guy who's mentoring me. So, I mean, I'm probably gonna send two of Joe's birds to the Florida Derby, um, and then just give the rest to Gabe. I got four or five more I got left to give them to Gabe. He's a new flyer, and he needs birds to fly this year in our combine, so I, I'm gonna send him four or five. Um, even though I'm a new flyer, I wanna help him out. And then the birds he's getting are gonna be from um, Robinson, Rob, Robertson, Family Law, and from Tommy. So he's getting good birds. So without further ado, we'll just let these buggers out and see what happens. I know once I move, they're gonna fly, so. One guy already tried to fly out. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. I didn't, well, I didn't expect that to happen. They don't know no better. So, what if I come behind them? 
gonna try to get this shot. Come on, guys. There we go. There we go. Okay, guys. There we go. There we go. We got anybody left? Anybody left? No? Okay. So there they go. It's a cloudy day. Um, you see how they, they did kit up? For the most part, two are, there they go, they're kitting up. So, they, um, I think they're, uh, that's a sign right there that the fact that they're kitting up like that means that they're, they're ready to toss. They're ready to go. Yeah, they're ready to go. I got one that's doing a little, doing his own thing a little bit, but for the most part, two doing their own thing. But they're, but they're, it's their first time. I'm trying not to really spook y'all with the camera. I'm really trying to find them too, myself. There they go. So there's cloudy, and you can see it's cloudy. But like I said, it's less than a quarter mile to the house. And um, I feel like somebody should make it home. I feel like somebody should make it home, right? So. I'm just gonna keep the video rolling. I'm just gonna keep the video rolling until I get home. Um, like I literally like, it's gonna be less than a minute drive to the house. I'm gonna put y'all up here like that. And then I'm gonna drive to the house real quick. Another reason why I like making these videos is cause Joe can tell me, hey Dennis, you're doing this wrong. Hey Dennis, you're doing that wrong, you know? I like to go live, but yeah, I seen Robert Robertson James's video, and James was like, uh, he's sending a couple of do birds to the Florida Derby. They're still accepting birds. I really don't want to settle any more birds. I'll be honest with you. I, I don't want to say I'm overwhelmed, but I've got my hands full with the birds, the birds I have now. Forty something young birds is a lot. And the reason why I bred that many is because I was literally left with no birds last year. Like I lost my very last bird on my very, on the very last race. So I had to skip old bird season. And I don't want that to happen again. So I'm trying to get these birds together next year. Next, hopefully if this season goes well, and it's already starting out better, um, cause I got more birds to train. But if this season goes well enough and I'm able to make it through young bird season with birds, I don't feel like I have to breed that many birds next year. I feel I should be good. Feel I should be good. So they um this Piggly Wiggly's been here for 40 years and they closed it down. It's the sign of the times, man. I'm in North Carolina, but my heart's in Baltimore. Um, I'm from that area, originally from PG County, but I lived in Glen Burnie for 30 years in Baltimore, South Baltimore, Brooklyn, Brooklyn Park, Ferndale, all them areas I lived in. Me and my family grew up in. They grew up in. My kids, some of my kids are still there with their kids. Uh, no, those aren't my birds. Those are some little black birds. I thought my birds was already here. It shouldn't be far, because literally there's a school down there. I don't know if you can see it. And down there is the school. I released them on the other side of that parking lot. Released them on the other side of that parking lot. And um, that football field. So I hope they can figure it out. And I definitely skipped their feeding last night. So I know that they're hungry. So yeah, that's where I released them at. And um, hopefully the cloudy weather didn't um, didn't. Uh, is that a hawk up there? I think there's a hawk up there because his tail, he's got a fan tail. My oh my birds are over in the trees over there. They're 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 flying in circles kind of like over on the other side over there. I, I really hope I didn't lose all 27 birds at one time. That would suck. And those birds have ranged off, ranged off, ranged off. So uh, those birds should be good. But um Wow, that would be a blow. That would, I didn't even. That that would really hurt if if all those birds are gone on one shot. 
So this is live and in living color. Y'all are y'all are seeing it like firsthand. Me and my um panic <laughs> or whatever you call it, anxiety. Um definitely feeling anxious right now. But that's good. This is live television. I should have went live, yeah, honestly, so that way y'all could laugh at me or whatever y'all do in the in the comments. Or or on, on live, y'all you know, could have um lived it up and been like, yeah, you, you know, get out of pigeon racing, you know, you know, da, 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 you know da, 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 whatever. So I'm gonna see if I'm gonna get their food ready. Hopefully they make it back. I want to see if that one bird I told you that was wild that that escaped from me. And if he's back. These guys over there, they let their little dog run around in people's yard. I don't know if that's cool or not. Spanish people. So that's the that's the bird. That bird there is the escapee. Because he got an orange band on. And I don't know if that's why the hawk is circling. But I don't see any of my birds. Like literally how long is it gonna take them to go a quarter mile? Oh, there they go. There they go. Boom. from the first toss at least a big group of them did now let me go in here and feed them get their food in i wanted them to, i wanted them to um see me feeding them so to help hopefully they trap hopefully this video is not too long for i know that this new generation and a lot of people got adhd but um I, I mean, I'm, I look at me. I mean, I'm all over the place mentally, but by the grace of God, I'm able to hold it together. I know these birds are hungry, so I hope they get a trap in. And that's normally what I do. Well, there's a little tiny bit left. I'll just give them. So normally what I do is I just, uh, I got it uh, measured out where there, it, look, it just covers the bottom. And I want them to understand also that when they fly and they trap in and everything, they got fresh water already, that they get rewarded, right? So I want to put one of these over here where they can see it when they look in the trap. And I put this one right here like that. And I'll get out of here because they don't like me. Watch out, little buddy. Funny story about that bird, right? A white bird. When I came home yesterday, somehow I left this bird, this door unlocked, but it was closed. It's got a spring on it. And somehow when I came home yesterday, that bird, that white bird was out on the ground, just walking around and I couldn't catch it. So what I did was I sprayed it with a water hose and got it soaking wet so it couldn't fly away. And then I was able to catch it in the corner. <laughs> Let me come out. I hope my birds are good. There goes one right there. Why does he look like that? I heard somebody say that um, so he's panting too. It is humid out here. Come on, guys. See, this is what I don't like, man. They're not trapping. And I know they're hungry. I just, I don't know what to do, man, about that. That, 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 that breaks my heart, man, because they can win races and then not even, not even win because of that. And they're gonna be eating out here. Cause it's real in the hood. <laughs> Even though I'm in the country, it might as well be the hawk hood. The hood uh, might as well be a hood, because they will get crushed out here. Yeah, so success and failure at the same time. I'm just gonna put a little bit in here so I can shake it. Success and failure at the same time. I don't know if they stop up there. I got my dogs inside. The dogs are not out. A lot of times they trap better when I'm not around. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. 
not even budging. Look at that. Of course, I'm a, no, I'm not. I'm just. It is what it is. I mean, I don't know what to do about it. They're, 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 them birds are hungry. I did not feed them last night. I've been giving them like they've been cleaning their plate. I, I mean, I know they're hungry. So all that you feed them too much, Dennis. You feed them too much, Dennis. I, you know, and I felt them just now. One or two of them felt a little tiny bit light, but you know, I'm taking advice from people and feeding my birds less and less. And it's like, I don't know what to do, man. And then I got to hear people say, oh, well, maybe you should give up pigeon racing because you can't do it. You know, because my birds won't trap. And I can't film a video. So I, I, should, I should quit YouTube and quit making um, videos that are therapeutic for me. And I should quit trying to race my pigeons because now they're causing me more anxiety than they're relieving. You know, my anxiety ain't going nowhere. It is what it is. That's just that's just my nature. Ever since my accident, that's my nature. If I could just get one or two to come in, the rest will follow. It's like, and I think what it is is they're mad at me for um putting them in them cages because they didn't want to go in them cages. They fought it tooth and nail. They were trying to squeeze out through the bars and punching their heads into the fence. And now they want to breed. That white dog, that white bird up there wants to breed. So now they want to. Now they want to. Um. So now I got to start splitting them. I gotta have Joe come help me split males and females because look at him. He he could care less. He's gonna get himself killed. He's white. He got a, He's already got an X on his back. <laughs> like literally got an X on his back. So he he's he pretty much like gonna be hog bait. Cause he's too worried about breeding. Then I got a white one over there sitting on the um sitting on the perch he's white so he's like a like a bald eagle sitting over there thinking he's gonna not gonna um be hog bait that's why the birds i'm gonna send to the florida derby are gonna be blue bars i'm not sending any colored birds out i'm just not i don't even have any color i just got white birds and blue birds he's standing up there i think they're, they're scared of me man i really i really in my heart believe that my birds i don't know if it's my voice i don't know what it is but I really believe in my heart Ever since I added these new chickens They stopped laying eggs I don't understand that I don't know what it is But It's not acceptable but Anyway I believe that these birds are afraid of me And I, they're, they're mad at me now For Jamming them in cages They won't trap This dude won't see See what I'm saying I mean, they made it home, but that's not going to win the race. You got to get into the coop. Y'all, there's another one up there. He's doing his cuckoo dance. Come on, guys. They're up there plicking and plucking and all that. But, well, guys, success and failure. There's Broken Leg, man. He wanted to go in, I just scared him off. That's a broken leg. That's my guy with the broken leg. Come on, guys. Food's in there. Come on. I had a dream last night that one my dog, one of my dogs killed one of my birds. So that's why I'm not letting my dogs out. Because, you know, I don't want to make a dream a reality. But I had a dream and it was because I left that bird out on the ground. Well, I didn't leave it out, but I found that bird on the ground yesterday. And I felt like, man, lucky my dog didn't find it. And it was on my mind. I went to bed because I couldn't figure out how the bird got out. And I'm thinking maybe they were out the day before. I'm thinking maybe I closed the trap up while it was still out. And I miscounted my birds. And it was out all night. Because it didn't put up much of a fight when I went to get it to put it in. It did fly from me. And then when I hit it with the water hose, it, um, it just took it. And I pinned it in that corner over there with the privacy fence and my other pigeons. I guess it was trying to eat or whatever. And I pinned it over there and I was able to grab it with my hands. I don't know, guys. Well, I guess stay tuned to the next video. And um, I'll let you know if they look at them. Look at them. They're, they're like, I don't know. I, so I feel like a failure at this point. I really do. I feel, I feel like I got some victory because they made it home. 
but I definitely feel like a failure because they're not trying, and, I, and they're, they're, I know they're hungry. Maybe I should have tossed them in the evening like I normally do. I don't know, but I didn't want them to starve all day. All right, guys, so I'll make a follow-up video. It's 20 minutes long and not one bird is trapped. So I'll make a follow-up video and let y'all know what happened. But um, success and failure, I guess. Ultimately, failure because not one bird. Well, that uh, broken leg would have would have clocked in because he, he was at the trap. So at least broken leg would have clocked. Even though he didn't trap in, he stepped on the clock. So... And it's like they're looking at me. It's like, don't look at me trap. It's like... Yeah, that's broken leg because he walks with a limp. Right there, you can see him waddling like a duck. Because he's got a broken leg. I don't know if it's a hen or a cock, but... Come on, guys. There's some there. So look, see, see how the male is. See how the male is like. Come on, let me breed you. Let me breed you. Okay, so they are starting to trap. There goes one. There goes. There goes one. One went in. So they want to trap. They want to trap. And then I'm like, see, then this male up here wants to breed. So Joe, if you're watching this video, I need. We're gonna have to split these birds up. Um, soon, man, because I think this male female thing is really a a sucky dynamic. Now they flew away because I walked over here. See, they don't want to trap because I'm out here. When I go inside, they'll trap because they're hungry. And one or two of them already went in. If I when I go inside, they're gonna trap. I trust me when I tell you. So, which sucks because I want to stay out here protect them from the hawks, and that's why I leave my dogs out here to protect them from the hawks, hoping that the hawk won't at least take one on the, off the ground. Because, but my but see that's the thing. If the hawk drives one of my birds to the ground, my my dogs will take the bird. So it's like a lose lose. But point is don't let the birds get on the ground they should be trapping right now ultimately i'm glad that they made it home but if i was the judge's performance i would say it's a it's overall a failure because they they literally flew like half a mile not even like a quarter mile so there's you know look at them trying to breed look at them trying to breed cuckoo doing his cuckoo dance you know I think that's broke leg he's chasing so that means broke leg yep that's broke leg so that means broke leg's a hen that's what that means broke leg is a hen he's trying to breed a hen and actually they he has a yellow band yeah so that's two tachyon birds trying to breed each other he's trying to breed well he's trying to breed anybody <laughs> yeah yeah so that's where I'm at I can see him flying over to the trap see that I'm on, I'm on the other side of the trap so I see him flying over towards the trap but I'm on the other side of the trap because they don't, like I said, I spook them. My presence spooks them. So, Joe, that's one of your birds right there in the front. The blue band on. The little crazy feather on the top of his head. That's that's a Joe from uh, Lily Lofbird right there. That one is too. Got a blue band on. Now, I'm not, I don't know if that's the one. Matter of fact, there's, I know you know that one, Joe. That one's yours too, the white head. So I still have that one. And um, I do have a pair of breeders from Joe. So Joe gave me five birds at the beginning of the year to fill band. He filled five bands for me. I've lost since lost two of those birds, but I still have three. And I've also bred out of the pair he gave me. And um, so I have a couple of those birds. Some of those are on the other team and one or two is on this team. There's one that has two blue bands on. That's because he um, was the one that got stuck out for a week and I couldn't get him to trap. I couldn't catch him for a week. And then I finally called him um, one night. I called him and uh, I put an extra band on his leg so I know who he is. But ever since then, he traps perfect. So um, I'm gonna go in and hopefully these birds will go in with me. Go into their, their uh, cause there's food in there. So I don't know, this is weird. They just won't trap. My video camera sucks, man. If anybody wants to help me with social media, man, I appreciate it. I need a logo made. I need to make a logo too. So if anybody wants to help me, um, I appreciate it. James, that bird right there with the white tail feathers, that bird right there is off of the is off of 178, 180. Yeah.
And I guess it's a hen because the cock's chasing her. Yeah, these cocks are freaky, man. I gotta get I gotta get them split, man. I think they're messing my vibe up. I think they're messing my vibe up. I, I'm not messing it totally up, but I think they're part of the reason. Because they're they're ready to breed and the um male, the females ain't. So definitely having issues. So any suggestions? I appreciate it. Leave the starve your birds out, cause I've been. I, but trust me, I have been. I've been barely feeding my birds, to the point to where if I have to cut back anymore, I, I don't. The only thing I could consider doing is giving them a little barley more, giving them barley instead of food. But I was gonna wait till about August to start that, cause I want them to develop. I want them to go through molt. I want them to do. I want them to have the proper nutrients and everything they need. Um, so one or two more tosses and I was going to just shut them down anyway until August but I wanted to get used to the cage used to driving in the car all that stuff so um that's why I think about going live I think I'm gonna go live my next time that way I can see live comments and I don't have to keep checking back but y'all guys let me know what you think man make friends not enemies God bless you